The economy of Kenya, is the largest in East and Central Africa, and has maintained an average economic growth of 5% over the past eight years, in spite of the global recession. According to the African Development Bank, the Kenyan economy is expected to grow by 5.7% in 2023, which will be one of the fastest rates in the particular year. The economic growth of Kenya in the last decade has been impressive compared to many other African countries. This growth is attributed to the increased investment and development in the country, robust domestic demand emanating from private consumption, and government investment in infrastructure such as, power plants, ports and social amenities. As Kenya seeks to maintain its position as East Africa's business hub and one of Africa's major economies, the need for the East African nation to develop infrastructure is inevitable, that's because infrastructure plays a critical role in the development of any country. In this video, we are going to look at the 10 largest projects to be completed by the new Kenyan President William Ruto. Please do not forget sharing with us, what you think of this video on the comment section. Number 10, Nairobi Railway City. The Nairobi Railway City is an iconic, multimodal urban development, situated on a 425 acres area. The master plan of the proposed Nairobi Railway City, which seeks to expand and decongest the central business district, features a new railway station, a lush golf course close vicinity to Upper Hill Business District, a large open park, key heritage sites and industrial zones. The strategic location of the Nairobi Central Railway Station area, positions it perfectly to be an iconic nerve center for the Nairobi multimodal transport system, with a world-class new central railway station incorporating mixed-use commercial developments such as hotels and intermodal facilities. The project is expected to increase Nairobi's revenue base and will create a greater central business district, through the provision of an inclusive new central economic zone, an integrated multimodal hub and iconic urban space. The Nairobi Railway City is being developed by a UK firm Atkins Global, which was selected following a meeting between the former Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta, and the former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson in January 2020. Number 9, Nairobi BRT Project 2019, Nairobi Metropolitan Transport Authority proposed a bus rapid transport system as a strategy to ease traffic congestion in the city. Nairobi BRT System, a mass transit system with five lines, covering Nairobi City County and the adjoining counties namely, Kiambu, Kodjiado, Charcos, and Murangar. As the city leans towards environment conservation, the city's BRT buses will be modern and electric, with 160 seats. The buses will run its operations on dedicated lanes, a right-of-way that will make them faster than the already existing fossil fuel buses. The BRT system it is expected to offer a reliable, secure and comfortable system for city residents, as well as an affordable transport means. Number 8, Malindi Bagamoyo Highway. The Malindi Bagamoyo Highway, also known as Coastline Transnational Highway, is a road in Kenya and Tanzania connecting the cities of Malindi and Mombasa in Kenya, to Tanga and Bagamoyo in Tanzania. The road starts at Malindi in Kenya and makes its way southwards for 110 km 68 miles from Mombasa, with this portion of the road designated officially as part of Route B8, a national trunk road. The road then continues south for 106 km 66 miles from the town of Lunga Lunga and onward to the nearby border with Tanzania. Coming at a cost of $751 million, the highway is expected to improve cross-border trade, tourism, socio-economic development and promote regional integration. Number 7, Tanzania-Kenya Gas Pipeline The presidents of Tanzania and Kenya have agreed to fast-track construction of a natural gas pipeline designed to increase trade between Kenya and Tanzania, lower energy costs, and decreased cost of production in Kenya. 
This agreement was reached in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania in October 2022, during the Kenyan President William Ruto first visit to Tanzania as head of state. The gas pipeline will transfer gas from southern Tanzania where Tanzania has discovered massive resources of natural gas, and through the already existing gas pipeline which reaches Dar es Salaam. The new pipeline will then transfer gas from Dar es Salaam to Mombasa, which will later be extended to Kenya's capital Nairobi. The 600 km long gas pipeline is expected to cost Kenya over $1.1 billion. Number 6, Kenya Geothermal Energy Projects. Kenya is Africa's largest producer of geothermal energy, and the eighth in the world. The East African country has increased its production from 168 megawatts to 821 megawatts in six years. With an estimated geothermal potential of 10,000 megawatts, Kenya holds an exceptional promise for geothermal energy development. The first geothermal site in Kenya was opened in 1984, in the region of Ol Karia, about 150 miles from the nation's capital, Nairobi. At the moment, Kenya is working to expand its 23 sites, only four of which contain deep wells. While geothermal power plants in Ol Karia maintain a generation capacity of around 700 megawatts and can power nearby major cities, geologists hope to double their impact by 2025. Number 5, Mombasa Nairobi Expressway. Government of Kenya has recently announced that plans for the construction of the Mombasa Nairobi Expressway are in good progress after completion of the feasibility studies. Feasibility studies were undertaken by the Korean Overseas Infrastructure and Urban Development Corporation, focusing on demand projections, traffic projections, and affordability projections for the project. The four-lane highway links Kenya's capital city Nairobi to the city of Mombasa, Kenya's largest seaport and the second biggest city in the country. 482 km Mombasa Nairobi Expressway starts at Jitaro along the Nairobi Nakuru Highway, and from Jitaro in Kiambu County, the road then goes in a southeasterly direction through Ngong, Ongata, Rongai, Kisaju to Izania town in Kojiado County, where it joins the existing Nairobi Mombasa Road north of Konza town. The high-speed road is a key growth driver for enhancing the transportation infrastructure and economic development along the Nairobi-Mombasa corridor in Kenya, which handles more than 95% of cargo from the sea port of Mombasa. The Nairobi-Mombasa Expressway comes at a cost of over $2.7 billion. Number 4, Kenya Mega Dams Kenya's most ambitious dam construction mission is underway as the country seeks to solve its water shortage issues while enhancing food security and hydropower generation. Through various state agencies, the government of Kenya is building at least five mega dams at a cost of more than $1.4 billion. The dams include Swake Dam at the border of Makueni and Kitwe counties, coming at a cost of $692 million, Itair Dam in Nakuru, at $255 million, Karimenu Dam in Gachindu, at $218 million, Theba Dam in Kiranyaga, at $145 million, Murunyi Dam in West Pakot, at $45 million, and a $10 million dam in Nyeri. The Ministry of Water and Sanitation in the country, has also signed deals for construction of a $182 million dam in Bomet, a $154 million dam in Kiambu, and a $182 million dam in Kuala County. The government also plans to spend billions in the construction of dams in Kasumu, Kericho, Kiambu and Nyandarua counties. Number 3, Kenya SGR. Kenya SGR is a standard gauge railway system that will connect Kenyan cities and link the country to the neighboring countries of Uganda, and through Uganda to South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, and Burundi. 
First phase of the project involved the construction of a railway line between Mombasa and Nairobi about 480 kilometers, later extended to Naivasha town in phase 2 via a 120 kilometers long railway line. The new standard gauge railway is intended to replace the old, inefficient railway system with a modern faster and a cost-effective SGR line. Number 2. Konza Technopolis Konza Technology City is a smart city project that is coming up in Machakos County. The project is part of the country's Vision 2030 blueprint, and expected to generate about 17,000 direct high-value jobs, and a further 68,000 indirect jobs once completed. The project which is located 64 kilometers, south of the capital Nairobi, is modeled around the US Silicon Valley hence the moniker African Silicon Savannah. It targets business process outsourcing, software development, data centers, disaster recovery centers, call centers, light manufacturing industries, and research institutions. Konza Technopolis comes at a cost of over $14 billion. Number 1, Lapset. Lapset Corridor Project also known as Lamo Corridor Project is a transport and infrastructure project in Kenya, that when complete, it will be the country's second transport corridor. Kenya's other transport corridor is the Mombasa-Uganda Transport Corridor that passes through Nairobi, and much of the Northern Rift. The project brings together Kenya, Ethiopia, and South Sudan. This mega-project consists of seven key infrastructure projects starting with a new 32-berth port at Lamu in Kenya, inter-regional highways from Lamu to Isiolo, Isiolo to Juba in South Sudan, Isiolo to Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, and Lamu to Garson in Kenya. In addition to this, the project also features construction of a crude oil pipeline, from Lamu to Isiolo, Isiolo to Juba, product oil pipeline from Lamu to Isiolo and Isiolo to Addis Ababa. Kenya is spearheading the implementation of the Lapset Corridor project. Completion of the Lapset project will strengthen Kenya's position as East Africa Region Gateway.